In Cura, now we can see vertical window panes, and now we don't. In Simplify 3D, now we can see strings on our guitars, and now we don't. And in Prusa Slicer, uh, we can see an unencumbered 2021, and now we don't. Well, greetings, printing enthusiasts. My name is Vicki Soma, and this is Teagall 3D. And today's episode, we are gonna talk about missing details in your slicer. Now, sometimes you do bring a model in, and clearly there's something wrong with it. You can see it immediately before you even slice. Like maybe Cura highlights some things in red, or Simplify 3D is showing missing pieces altogether. That's not what we're gonna talk about in today's video. We're gonna focus on those situations where your model comes in, fine and when you slice it up that's when you start to th see things start to disappear it could be subtle like the window panes uh, and the guitar strings or sections of text so here's some script of where we're customizing but butterfly to say Aileen and you can see that parts of the thinner areas of the script are disappearing or it could be as dramatic as entire sections of your object or even your entire object disappearing. The first thing we should talk about is what's going on here. Now basically, in all those situations, the details that I was trying to print were too small for my printer to make real with the current slicer settings. So what is considered too small? Well, there's two main areas that we should focus on. Uh, first off, you are probably already aware that your layer height has a direct impact on the quality of your print and also the print time. The smaller those layers are, uh, the more layers the uh, printer is going to print and the more opportunity it has to put in your fine detailing. The other factor at play is going to be your extrusion width or your line width. And this is simply how big is that line of plastic that your printer is making malleable uh, for your printer to draw with. Your line width is related to your nozzle. The hole in your nozzle, is it 0.35, is it 0.45, is it a nice bulky 0.75? Whatever that hole is, is going to have an impact on the line that comes out of it. Now, as an analogy, we can look at the thicknesses of three different pens. We can have like a really fine point Sharpie, uh, we can have a normal Sharpie, and a big chunky marker here. Um, if I was coming along and I wanted to fill in the details with this fine point Sharpie, I have, like, it's so thin, I can make my little perimeters just like the printer would, and I would still have time, enough room, to go ahead and fill it in like some solid infill. If I took the Sharpie and I tried to do the same thing, I could probably pull it off with just, like, one, one kind of perimeter. Maybe I'm getting a little mucky on some of those fine details. And of course, if we come to this big chunky um, marker, uh, it's, not, it's just gonna be a big mess. So in this case, it would probably be best for me to skip it all together. And that's the same conclusion the slicer is coming to. These details are too small for the tools that it's using right now, so it's gonna skip them. Well, what can we do about that when this happens to a model of ours? Well, your first line of attack, if your details are too small for your printer to make real, is simply go and make your object bigger. And all uh, three slicers that I'm talking about today, uh, Cura, Simplify 3D, and the Prusa slicer, they have a scale feature, and you could just make things bigger as you see fit. I'm gonna go even bigger here. And you could go ahead and slice again. And now that the object is bigger, the details are bigger too. And they're just big enough for your printer to make real. Another line of attack, particularly if your details are going vertical, is to change your layer height. Uh, here I'm in Cura. This is a coordinate uh, bracelet. I print upright uh, specifically for the detailing of the numbers. And at a very thick 0.3 uh, layer height, you can see that the tops of the sevens are cut off, the top of the two and the sixes are cut off, a little bit of the four. And if I go back and just um, correct layer heights, I'll go down to the 0.20, take a preview at that. Uh, you can see a great improvement, uh, not perfect. Look at my little sixes and my fours. My seven might be a little bit thick, 
Um, but if I go back down to maybe a tenth and slice it again, uh, then you can see radical improvement in my detailing just by changing the layer height and no other settings. Now for your horizontal detailing, I like the missing guitar strings here. If it's really, really close and you don't want to scale the object up and you don't feel like it's going to hinder your print quality in other places, one option you can do is adjust the settings that tell your slicer how big of a line it's going to be drawing with. This is typically tied very closely to the size of the hole in your nozzle, but you do have some wiggle room with the settings. Cura calls these settings line width. Prusa and the Simplify 3D call the settings extrusion width. So here in a Simplify 3D with my Les Paul guitar, I just went to my little second process that was in charge of the area that has the strings. And under the extruder tab, I can just bump this down just ever so slightly to from 0.36 to 0.34. And I will go ahead and slice it again. And that is how I achieved that print with the strings. Now, if you're not comfortable mucking around with your extrusion width or line width settings, don't worry. All three slicers have another option. And it's actually my favorite, my go-to that when I have missing details. Going back to our example of the missing vertical window panes, here in Cura, I can go ahead to custom print settings. And under walls, there's a horizontal expansion. And this will allow you to put in just a little tiny extra emphasis on your X and Y uh, detailing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in uh, just a tenth of a millimeter and we'll see what, where that gets us. And just adding that little uh, one tenth of a millimeter for a horizontal expansion uh, gives us those window panes. And now an example in our Prusa slicer, here's this object that had really, really thin walls. So almost all of it was getting skipped. Uh, the Prusa slicer, you can find this comparable setting under print settings. You need to make sure that you click on expert mode and you wanna go under advanced and it's called XY's size compensation. And just like Kira, you put in a little tiny number and it's going to exaggerate, uh, grow your object or shrink your object by those dimensions. I'm gonna do the tenth of a layer again and slice now. And this time we actually have walls for our object. And in Simplify 3D, let's take a look at our missing guitar strings. So we'll go back to our slicer settings. And in Simplify 3D, you can find this under the Other tab. There's a Dimensional Adjustment section and Horizontal Size Compensation. And again, you can make some small adjustments there and then go ahead and re-slice. And you have your guitar strings. That's today's episode. Uh, hopefully this helps you uh, know that you're not crazy when you see the details and all of a sudden they disappear or you see the wall and all of a sudden they disappear. Uh, now you know what's happening and you have some strategies to attack it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.